the what has been found throughout your body is that there are certain areas where you have more of these C fibers and autonomic fibers, and they it's in your brain. And if you have neurogenic inflammation in your brain, that is now recognized to be a very important factor in chronic migraines, in uh, autoimmune conditions like multiple sclerosis. If it occurs in your lungs, which is very high, then it, it looks like it's the basis of asthma and, and bronchitis and chronic airways disease. So these are massive, massive, massive diseases can occur in your gut, be the, the basis of ulcerative colitis and, and Crohn's disease, inflammatory bowel disease in your bladder, uh, something called interstitial cystitis, which is a horrible condition where there's inflammation and nobody understood why. Why is the inflammation? And it's the, it's the underlying process is, is uh, looking more and more like neurogenic inflammation. And finally, and most, imp well, not most important, but finally, most, almost most commonly, um, joints. You know, Joints are loaded with these nerve endings, and now we recognize that arthritis, which is inflammation in joints, is driven to quite an extent by neurogenic inflammation. So this uh, is the underlying process for a huge amount, billions of people suffering in the world with um, inappropriate inflammation driven by the nerve endings the pain nerve endings and the autonomic nerve endings. And then we looked at Crips, which is this horrible condition affecting um, your limbs where you're, where you're injured and then you're, you're, you, you turn on a pain, significant pain process, which has swelling and changes in color and exquisite sensitization and changes in motor function. It is a very complex condition, and it's now being increasingly recognized by doing micro pipette studies that there are in hugely increased inflammatory substances in people who have Crips. So, and the primary driver is most likely neurogenic inflammation. So, um, this was where we got to, and then we talked about treatment, um, which was the 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 treatments that interfere with um, this process, which slow down and or turn off the nerve endings pouring inflammatory mediators into your body. And we talked about capsaicin, capsaicin, which is the, comes from the red hot chili pepper. And we talked about uh, cl clonidine, which is something that blocks the overaction of your autonomic fibers. And then, then we talked about Botox, which interferes in a way that is not really understood, but it seems to turn down inflammation. And statins, the odd thing, the unexpected. So that's my, just my quick summary.